Good evening, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. It's 5.15 approximately on uh, Monday and I've done two videos on this so far today and, and I'm going to do one more because it this was an amazing trade. Uh, this is the kind of thing that you really have to study. You really have to study this. You can't miss these. Uh, you know, the reason that I like to trade gaps is that the, the, the trades have mo momentum. They have big moves. I talk about this all the time. People get upset if they don't see it every single week. Who cares? Okay? You get them when you get them. I can't predict how many you're going to get in a week. I can't predict how many you're going to get in a month, but I know you get them. I mean, in the last month, Infi's done it in its own accord twice, not including all the other things that work today. So, you know, the problem, I think, with people is they are so darn impatient. They are so darn impatient. If something doesn't work for them the first day they start trading or the first week or the first month, they, they want to quit. You know, and people come in my room and they do a trial. If they don't see something when I give them a one-week trial that, that runs hard in the day, they don't, they don't want to do the class. You know, and I say to myself, you know what? Those people then don't want to make real money, you know, because they don't understand the market. And the, and the way the market works. The market works in its own time frame and is going to give you what it gives you when it gives it to you. You have to be willing to take a chance to learn something like this. This is 100% worth it, okay? The, there's momentum moves happen and stuff sporadically in other strategies. And some strategies don't have any momentum at all, okay? Some strategies also hardly ever set up. And when they do, you may have to take them three, four times until they trigger and go. It's, they're very tough. They're not clean, 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 clean. The reason that gaps are such a great way to trade, such a great strategy, is they're clean. Uh, they're, they're clean. They're the cleanest things I've ever encountered. And that is one of the main reasons why I do it. In fact, I was talking today in the room about how the entry is a uh, just is the most important thing in the trade besides the strategy. After the strategy, you got to have a strategy. The strategy has to be good and it has to be intact and it has to be solid. All right, so you know which stock to, to trade. Then after that, it's the entry. I mean, the whole thing is about the entry. The entry that I took in this in the morning, okay, was phenomenal. And actually, if I had taken the first entry in the morning and held the whole thing all day, did the ad where I did the second trade, it would have been an, an unbelievable day for me. And actually, it was an amazing day, so as it is. The drop that I had down this morning that was $2 plus, I took the whole trade out. I, I took the whole trade out. Now, I was lucky to see that it was going to do it and to get back in and hold through the rally, which I did. I actually ended up getting out of this uh, at 17 something. Um, I got it through the last breakthrough. I'll show you where it was. But I did not get the last dollar plus in this. I, there was just no way. I was up so much money that I, I wasn't going to, you know, hold it through any kind of rally. So uh, we'll go over here again where I got out of it. Uh, it's just amazing, though, how, fell it, how hard it dropped then through. So once this did this, okay, it broke 18, and I, and I could have stayed through it. I mean, I really could have even bar by barred it here. If I had bar by barred it here where I got out, but the stop over 40, which I just thought was too far away, it would have kept me in it. <laughs> would have kept me in it, but I still, I would have gotten out in here. I, I just, I would have gotten out in here. I really would have gotten out in here. But actually, would 40 have held? Yeah, 40 would have held. That was it. So where I got out, I could have put the stop at 40 and held it all the way down through and got another dollar plus out of it. Yep. So it's all good. I mean, the the this dropped, and I profited in it. Um, you know, two dollars plus every single time I took it today. Uh, but the full on, you know, target the full on original entry that I took. In fact, let's even figure it out. I actually figured out why this works so good today as well. I'm gonna go over it in the room tomorrow. I, I actually know exactly why this did what it did today. I was been analyzing it here. This dropped six dollars from my call this morning at nine thirty something, whatever time it was, whatever time I made it. Six dollars. Six dollars from the thirty cent stop. Thirty cents divided by six. Let's figure that out. 
Wow. So, you know, honestly, 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 I, I'm sitting here, I watched it. I was sitting here watching it. Sitting here watching it drop a dollar plus, everybody's emailing me, you know, texting me. <laughs> yeah, I did the right thing getting out here though. But I could have put the stop at 40. You know, I just really thought when I broke 18, that was it. Let, let's go look at where it actually went into here. And if you did the swing trade on the gap that, that I called in here, which I said was lower. Look at how you got paid today. Look at how you got paid today. I made this call. That's why it ran the way it did. That's why it ran a buck past. Yep, I see it in here now. It's just you're up. I was up so much. Forty-four. Low was sixteen twenty-five. Oh, that's what it did. Amazing. And and I, I usually have several targets. I mean, this went even past past the target. In fact, let's look at this bar. Is this bar bigger than this bar? It's a little bit, but it's basically the same size. A little bit bigger. To have moves like this, incredible, incredible absolutely incredible so the risk to reward on this from the original trade until until the until the low of the day you just you just took it into the close I actually did say that I did say that in the room this is a trade to the close I did say that <laughs> I did say that what was the time I got out I, I did say that I said this is a trade to the close of the target but I got out at, at what I thought was a dream target but I did say this is a trade into the close I got out into the in, before the 2.15 reversal time, a little bit after 2. I, I did say this was a trade into the close. I did say that. Got to gotta write that down and remind myself. But, you know, target or close. Many times things go to the target and back right up into the close. This just kept on bleeding. Wow, just beautiful. So, ultimately, uh, the risk to reward on this was like 20, 20. I have to figure out exactly, but go back and look at the numbers. But if you took the original entry that I did, it was, and held it. In, into the close. It was 20 plus. And actually, I ended up benefiting amazingly well at this with my own risk reward because I played it twice. Uh, this is too much to go over right here, but because I took the trade and got the nice drop and got the full on and reshorted it into the push up, then I was able to profit on through. Now, I would have made more uh, if I had gotten the last buck out of it. But because of the way that I reshorted it then, I actually did make money then up into the push up to, to push on through. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, I, I played this as good as I could have today. <laughs> Got out under the break of 18, uh, and I thought as long as I had a 17 in front of my exit price, <laughs> I was I was getting a good exit. And this thing dropped to 16.25, so it dropped like a dollar half and a half plus past where I got out of it, and it's just an amazing trade. I, I just. I, I talk a lot about targets, and I think it's important to have targets. I, d I do not like the idea of trading for all or nothing, though. That I don't like. I, d I don't do it, all right? I do think you have to piecemeal in and out of stuff. Take a little bit out, into a drop, add back. Take a little out, into a drop, add back. Get a big trade, get all out, re-add back. I do think you can do all kinds of things. The idea of taking one thing to the full on target, I, I unless you're, the only way you could do that is if you kept pivoting it down. The only way you could do that in something like this is if you kept pivoting it down, lowering your stop. Because to take something all or nothing really means take the trade, put the stop where it is, and walk away till it gets to the target. Uh, basically have it take you out at the target. But even if you had done this, you wouldn't have gotten the full-on thing as the target was eighteen fifty and then $18. So if you'd walked away and put a, a, a order out to fill you to take the trade out at eighteen, dollars um, you wouldn't have gotten the last move in this anyways because you, that, that would have been the realistic target on the day for this. But as this turns out, it blew through everything. Uh, but, you know, you still have to lower your targets. If you take the initial trade, you still have to lower your targets. And again, you have to know where to lower it. And I think, I think many people are going to look back on this today that were in my room that killed this trade when it rallied back in here and, and, and not, not do that again. Okay, not do that again. 
I went over it and I said, this isn't doing anything wrong. And, and this was amazing. This was it. This was it right here. When it did this, I knew it was going to break a new low. And when it did this, I knew it was going to go to 19. And then at some point I knew in here 18, but I never thought, I didn't even have this number written down anywhere today, 1625. You know, I, I thought it was getting a beautiful trade under the break of 18, and it was. I, I have an amazing day here. This is just another one of these days that you love to trade. You, you have to be in it to win it. You have to learn how to trade gaps from me to get these trades. If you don't learn how to do it, you can't do it. If you don't learn how to do it, you won't know that to trade it with conviction to go to the target. You won't know where to take the entry. You won't know to even do it at all or pick it. Out of all the gaps that happened today, and there was a bunch, and they all worked, but this was the best. Okay, and this is the one that I did, and the only one that I did. Actually, I called two others, but I didn't do them. I, I did all this full force. So, you know, you have to be in it to win it. You have to train to do it. You have to trade to make money. You have to take the risk in the train to make money. You have to know the information. There's power in information, and you've got to know it in order to profit. In fact, I watched Wall Street last night. It was on TV. I wrote this quote down because I wanted to stick it in a class. And I've been saying this, actually, and I never realized that this was in the movie until I saw it last night. The most valuable commodity I know of is information. That's from Gordon Gecko. It's a quote from Gordon Gecko in the Wall Street movie. Um, it was out in 1987. And that is sure on right. Okay? And this is a reason why you have to take the Golden Gap class to learn the rating system to trade these things, to know the entries, to know the gaps, to understand what's going on, to read the whole thing. And to get the conviction, the conviction that you need to hold a trade that's going to drop, you know, like this, $6 on the day, come on, you know. And many people, I'm sure, didn't think this was going to get, was going to work. In fact, I think a lot of traders didn't even get in this till late or maybe missed it completely. Why? Can anyone guess why? The big move that happened here was big. I myself did not think it would replicate this to the exact um, degree of, voraciousness and to, you know today I really didn't think it was going to go this full on today so many people I saw that and thought it was a dink today and also there's another reason many people don't do gaps that look set up like this they don't do them when the red bar looks like this to the day before many people tend to not do these I know I know the way I know what people are teaching out there about gaps okay but the fact is this was a good gap okay and it ended up working out even better than I expected and I'm the bearish gap queen so you know, it's just, I think a lot of people don't know how to read these things. And talking about trends, I'm doing the trend class Wednesday and Friday. Understanding technical analysis and the reading of price is key in order to do these things. Some people probably thought this was a buy today. You know, it's one of the reasons why it probably works so well. Some people were probably, probably trying to buy this in here because do you see this guy right here? It gapped down to it. And could have very well been bought, but didn't. And I didn't think it was going to. But the bottom line is some people may have wanted to buy this today. And they got creamed. And if they kept trying to buy it into every area of support, they're creamed. In fact, let's look and see at the beginning of the day. Uh, the, the, what makes these gaps work is money. Big, 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 big money. They set the tone for everything. You must trade with it. It's the reason that I trade the strategy, by the way, and it's the reason it works so well. No amount of traders could have made this bar act like this today without big money. The big money made this whole thing happen since the beginning, and it's continuing it too. Uh, it's, it's just, this is incredible. This is the reason to trade these things. And I think it's a good lesson for everybody uh, to, to notate targets, to to be serious about them. Not giving back too much profit, but but honestly, one day like this a month, if you play this hard, okay, you'd really have to muck it up uh, to give this money back today in, in a month's time. So, so there's 20 trading days in a month. 20 trading days in a month, the one day you get this, and by the way, it's the first day of the month. I, in fact, I'm gonna have to remind everybody in this in the room tomorrow. The first day of the month was like this. This is amazing for the first day of a month. Now, here we are. What do you do with the rest of your month? Okay, what do you do with the rest of your month? Now, some people played this harder than others. Uh, uh, people that I know that couldn't follow it through into the second trade that I did. But the fact is, let's just say whatever you made on this today, you made a lot. Okay, it was the best day you've had since whenever. Okay, what are you going to do? You got to keep it. You have to keep it. 
You can't give it back to the market. It makes no sense, okay? So keep these days when you make them. They can make your month. When you go back and you look in your P&L and you have this huge day in here, you really would have to muck it up to, to give back this money to the market now. You got 19 days left in the month. You could lose half those days and make money half those days and break even and still have a month with this. I mean, you know, come on. You really have to screw it up to give this money back. And I don't want people to do that. It's important to keep your gains, particularly when they're very large days. I think many people have a hard time getting large days. You're not going to get them if you don't do trades that have momentum. Otherwise, you're relying on the market. And the market's tricky. And that's not the reason why this even worked today. Look, look what this did into the afternoon in the market rally, which, which I saw was going to happen. Actually, I'm seeing here. I didn't see where we closed. We have this nice little green head. So we're going to gap up tomorrow for sure. But this MFI fell on to that huge number at 1625 in the market rally. Okay. So this is the power of the gap. This is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. This is as real as it gets, people. Okay? This is real trading here. Real power money. Got to get the entry right. Otherwise, you're chasing this. And when you when you chase something or give up on it, you just, just you're back and forth, back and forth. It's a headache. Don't know where to put the stop. Don't know how much to take. You take a little, then you take too much, and it backs up against you, and you kill it. Then you kill it with a loss, and it goes into work. Then it drops $3, and you chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it. Don't put the stop at the same place, and you end up making 45 cents. You know, in order to get the entire move or 85% of the move, 80% of the move, 80 to 85% of the move, between 80 and 90% of the move, you can get between 80 and 90% of the move, you're an excellent, excellent trader. I, I do do that, all right? There's days that I don't get the thing to the whole thing. I talked about this earlier. You're never going to get that. But I get 80 to 90% of the move. The main reason for that is because I'm on these things aggressively in the morning and I know how to take them. All right, so my entry is in there right near the top. All right, so that's the reason I'm getting 80 to 90% of the move, even if I don't get the full on at bottom. And I've been doing better holding these things to bigger targets all even this year, 2013, because it's time to step it up a little bit here. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. This is the final review today on Infi. I'm not going to do any more videos on this tonight. Uh, I think you got to lay off this tomorrow, although the overall chart is still lower. Uh, it may it may gap down again tomorrow just for some follow through and break 16, but it's going to flip tomorrow sometime and the market's going to get up too. So have a great, wonderful evening, everyone. And if you're interested in learning how to trade gaps, uh, trade gaps with me and get my calls and take the class, feel free to reach out to me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.